the great fire of Edinburgh. A nicht, a nicht like any other, with the har creeping o'er the wines and the kirkyards breathing their cold, damp breath. A cry gied Fire, it said, sharp as a dirk's blade. The high street heard it and the close stirred to its marrow. James Kirkwood's hand, sweat slick for the work a day, tipped the pot, linseed oil bled to flame, and fray that wee spark the world's oldest stones geared up, ain after the other, their sangs turned to ash in the nicht. The fire roared with a voice of its ain, a beast thrashing down the royal mile, fray tenement to kirk, fray printer's press to gilded pew, like the old gods taking back their dues, or could hud it. Nay bairns brigade o' carpenters and masons, nay buckets pass frae hond to hond, nay prayers at St Giles' ruined altar. James Braidwood, bairn o' his craft, stood wi' his men like thorns against the beasts uncutide, but what can they o' a fire like this? Newly found brigades, untried, half-trained, lost to the rang orders o' blind leaders. The flames cared nae for good intent, Twa days it raged, twa long mournful days o' brick and bains, turned to nothing but old smoke. Four hunter hames fawed to the cinders, and hunters left with nothing but grief's bitter tongue. The thrown spire draped its blackened wraith o'er the ruined close, and still the fires linger aye in the reek o' old assembly close, where the shadows dinny shift, the ashes o' Kirkwood's paper cling to the damp. The walls whisper of flames, the heat a wraith that never leaves. But some things rise fae ash. Braidwood, a man of draught and scale, knew what good could come fae ruin. The first of the brigades stood firm, fae the horns and iron will. The great fire spoke, and Edinburgh heard. Nay flames could burn the lesson learned.